Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the new Doom Eternal. So first of all, we want to make sure that Windows is properly optimized. So write game mode in your search bar. Make sure that game mode is at off, really important, because uh, it's causing a lot of issue. A lot of people is asking me why you put game mode at off. First of all, a lot of time you will have less FPS with this mode and it creates a lot of problem with stuttering and, and if you're streaming the game, it's even worse. So just put this one at game, uh, get the game mode at off. Uh, game bar, really important to put this one at off. And also all those capture thing from Windows, put those one at off. Also, I recommend to turn off all those overlay that you use, the Discord one, the NVIDIA one, whatever uh, the, the, the overlay that you're using, just uh, remove all of them. Uh, last thing before we're going inside of the game, make sure that you have the latest driver from NVIDIA, so the 442.74, uh, uh, it's the new one with uh, the Doom Eternal, so you will probably gain a nice boost in your FPS, maybe it's like something 5 to 8%, so really important to do, and probably IMD will release uh, the driver also very soon. So now let's go inside of the game, we will change a lot of different parameters, and after that we will go in the config file. So now in the game, first thing that you need to make sure it is your window mode, make sure that you're playing full screen because I was losing FPS when I was using window or borderless. Uh, after that, monitor is okay, aspect ratio depending on your uh, monitor. Resolution, I'm playing 1080p after all the change that I will show you, if you still don't get your 60 for an example, you will probably need to lower your resolution. I'm not using any vertical sync, I want to have max FPS over there. I'm not using uh, the enable HDR, make sure it's not enabled if you don't have HDR because you will lose a lot of FPS. It happened to me in No Man's Sky, so really important. Uh, fill of view, I'm just playing stock 90. Uh, after that motion blur, I'm removing it. You will not gain more FPS with the motion blur, but still I don't like this effect when I'm playing a, a, a first person shooter, so that's why I'm removing it. If you want to see your FPS in this game, performance metric, this is the way to go. So if you put that low, you will see your FPS and they have a lot of different uh, parameter. So if you go straight up with the Ultra Nightmare, you will have all the detailed percentage of usage of your CPU, your GPU, FPS, etc. So everything is over there. Pretty cool feature, honestly, for a game. Uh, but it should, if you just want to see your FPS, just put this one at low. So now let's start with uh, the graphic parameter. The first one is this texture pool size. Uh, this one really depends on your VRAM and your video card. In this game, it's really cool. You have your VRAM over there and you have your uh, VRAM that you currently use. So for example, if I go with medium, as you can see, it's going a lot lower. So for example, if you have something like four gig of VRAM, go with medium. If you have less, go with low. Uh, but also depending on the parameter that you will change over there, the VRAM will adapt also. So really important to always look at your VRAM and also give like a nice cushion 10 to 15%. You don't want to be too near from your VRAM maximum. So really important to do. Uh, the first one that you need to look at is your uh, shadow quality. Shadow quality is really huge in this game. If I compare Ultra Nightmare to Low, you can gain like 20% straight up with shadow quality. So this one is probably the most... Um, this one and the volumetric quality, those one will give you a lot of FPS, so you don't need to touch everything else. For example, if you have your 52 FPS and you want your 60 constant, probably you just need to touch your shadow and your um, volumetric quality. Honestly, the, the game run really smooth. It's running on Vulcan, so I'm really impressed, honestly, by the graphic and the game is really smooth. Reflection, if you have a lot of issue when you're fighting, you're getting stuttering, drop of FPS, this one is a big thing. Uh, I did a comparison, Nightmare to Off. Honestly, you're, like the FPS is a lot more stable. Uh, I, I did a test on the RX 580 and it was running smoothly when I was putting this one at Off. And when I, put, uh, I do a test at Nightmare, I was losing like 35 to 40 FPS. It's pretty crazy. So this one, I recommend to put at off if you have like an entry level laptop, integrated video card and stuff. Motion blur, you don't, you don't really care, except if you put motion blur at on over there. Uh, so yeah, you can ch choose your motion blur quality. 
Directional occlusion, you can gain two to three FPS, three, sorry, two to three percent for each bracket in your FPS. So I'm putting this one at low. Uh, light quality at medium. I uh, didn't see a big change between low and medium, so go with medium. Particle quality also, you can gain a nice chunk, three to four percent for each bracket. So go with something with low and medium if you still don't get your 60 FPS. Decal quality, water quality, you can go at medium with those, those ones. Volumetric quality, like I said before, this one is really important. So nightmare to low, you can gain like 25% straight up in your FPS. So really important. Uh, texturing, filtering quality. This one will depend on your VRAM again. So for example, if you go with ultra nightmare at texture pool size, you probably can go with ultra nightmare over there. So just match this one, sorry, this one with your texture pool size. After that, geometric uh, quality, 2% 2 2 for each bracket. So go with something with medium or even high, depending where you are now with uh, the number of your FPS. Chromatic aberration, I don't like this effect, so just removing it. And also depth of feel. I'm not a fan of depth of feel when I'm playing a first-person shooter on PC. For me, this effect is more for maybe console player. So just removing it, and you will gain a nice uh, like 3% gain in your FPS. So pretty nice. After that, make sure you apply change. Finally, a lot of people is asking me where I can find the config file. So it's in the C drive, user, the name of your, your computer, save game, ID software, Doom Eternal, base. And after that, you have the Doom Eternal config local. Right click on it, open it with Notepad++. And you will have a couple of uh, options over there. So the one that maybe you can change like really last resort, you, you did everything and you still don't get your 60, is the water level of detail view distance. You can divide by two, so put eight over there and it will help you. But honestly, you don't have a lot of stuff that you can change over there. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. After that, it's save. And um, yeah, make sure that you're blocking the file. So click properties. Make sure that you put the file in read only. Click OK. You don't want the game messing up with your file because it's not a graphic parameter that you see in the game. And uh, you will make sure that your file is locked. So if you have any question, guys, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. Really, don't forget to update your driver. It will help you a lot with the stability of the game and also your FPS. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace!